This next story also touches on crops. It's about a new variety of apple that could soon be on the shelves of your local grocery store. But as the CBC's Tom Murphy explains, some are already saying nuts to the fruit. Behold the apple, wholesome, pure, and possibly soon genetically modified. I'm not in a rush to buy it, no. Well, get ready. It's called the Arctic apple. Its claim to fame, it doesn't brown, like so many others do. Perfected by a BC company, it's ripe for approval in the US any day now and soon after in Canada. These uh, apples are probably the most tested apples on the planet. When you think of the regulatory environment and oversight that goes into its genetically modified crops. So, how do you like them apples? I can tell you that they won't be buying it from me. At Elderkin's Farm Market, where the apple well, truly doesn't fall far from the, the tree. Apple, this tree doesn't look bad, actually. Peter Elderkin, a ninth-generation apple grower, asks, why mess with a good thing? Well, I think people are scared of it. I'm not sure that we totally understand the science in it and, uh, and the controls and, and the ability to, uh, for, for nature to absorb what we're doing. What they're doing is silencing the browning gene by inserting new genetic material in the apple's DNA. The argument goes that a genetically modified apple will hurt the reputation of all apples and may not only keep the doctor away, but also consumers. The Canadian Biotechnology Action Network has already come out against genetically modified apples. The company can tell us that this GM apple is safe and Health Canada might agree. But that doesn't mean that people want to eat the apple, and it doesn't mean that people have to agree about it being in our food system. A lot of the negative uh, comments about GM crops have been that there hasn't been any benefit to the consumer. It's all about agronomic benefit and reducing costs for farmers. And uh, this is going to offer something for everybody. The thinking is a non-browning apple would attract new apple eaters. If all goes as planned, Arctic apples will be available for the market by the fall of 2015. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Wolfville, Nova Scotia.